Boom, welcome back to Mount MoGraph. As always, my name is Matt. In today's video, we're going to go over this GIF I made about 10 years ago, but add sound effects to it using Boombox Studio. Boombox Studio does uh, basically visual audio design, so we'll jump on in. If you haven't heard of Boombox Studio, uh, this is the UI here, and I'll expand some of the options just so it's uh, easier to navigate. And I'll search something like a click, something very basic to kind of start the scene, and I'll set this up to a stack layout instead of side by side, so we can look at the list of click sounds just from a basic search. And you can kind of wander around and find something like a beatbox, a belt click, or try a different search, maybe like simple. Um, see if that tag comes up with anything or hold command and look up two tags at once and we can look up also click and simple and see if that kind of narrows down the sounds. And as you can see we're definitely getting more basic simple click sounds go figure and we'll add one to the timeline by pressing the shortcut one on the keyboard or you can press add the timeline and at this point I'm going to scrub the timeline and just try to find the next big action at least in this loop and you know something like this dude's face I guess like smacking this little camera in this gif um, we can add another big sound to like a smack and again just a basic quick search of an idea um, and for this situation what we're going to do is actually layer a couple sounds together so a lip smack just use the shortcut one on the keyboard and we'll find another sound add it to the timeline and um, this will just going to create like a more complex kind of like sound and character to what we're going to do and it's all going to make sense when we mix it at the end so maybe we can look up kind of like a heavier impact sound of this dude hitting like the camera in this gif or if that's not working we can expand the drawer here and look at either like the specific pack it's from or some additional kind of like tags to search and we'll look inside this pack specifically and clear the tag here to kind of like explore this darker kind of flavor of uh sounds and i would definitely say that looking through here these are like more horror and actual kind of like dark scary type sounds so we'll try to look for something more generic like a hit or maybe an impact of some sort and try to find a better kind of like flavor to explore here and boombox studio does have a lot of other ways to search this is just from like a basic like oh we'll look for impact sounds and we'll add another one to the timeline pressing one on the keyboard and you know you could pretty much add any kind of sounds in this kind of like first draft of setting up the kind of like sound design you're going for and when you mix it um all of the sounds will just kind of like add you know like the character again to kind of a cool or interesting scene and just to make the scene really easy we'll kind of bookend the start and the end and i'll add a camera click i guess we'll look for and i'll hold command to look up two tags at once and we'll just add one of these old camera sounds to the timeline pressing one on the keyboard and we'll check this out here. And so now we have the basic um, kind of like structure of the sound design for the scene we're gonna do. So we'll fill in the middle actions with more sounds. So uh, even though this is basic, we can look up something like fabric um, and or rustling or something and try to like paint in the context of the scene um, with the sound effects. So I'll turn off tags and cause we're not using them that much and we'll just kind of like explore the library for fabric sounds. And so something like the cape flap is a nice kind of like filler sound for the scene, I guess. So we'll kind of drag in the timeline and it's hard to explain, but it almost becomes intuitive. So I'll press one on the keyboard and that'll place the sound. Um, and then you just kind of like drag through the timeline or watch the scene and try to find moments where it feels like there'd be a sound almost. And then you find a sound that almost matches the action um, looking at the frame that you want. And then you let Boombox put the waveform in the timeline to sync up with the action. So I'll press one on the keyboard uh, once you kind of like find the right action. So maybe right here uh, and the waveform is going to get placed to hopefully match the action um, pretty well. And there are also tools for queuing and swapping sounds, which are a little bit more advanced and I'll go into another video, but I'll find another sound here to put at the beginning, something kind of heavy, like a leather bag and put it in the timeline just by pressing one on the keyboard. And already without even mixing it with the constellation, this has already started to turn into like a, a better quote unquote animation from what we started with, with a couple quick sound effects. So let's look for something like a whoosh to start filling in this kind of like airy jump sound here. Or I can check over in the info drawer at some of the extra tags and or maybe just use the air tag here and try to find a sound that just fills in this kind of like jump or a levitating type action I have happening in the scene. Um, this is all like what you want as a sound designer. So you try to find sounds that kind of match. 
And so this library is already pretty packed and it has anything from like wind sounds to uh, compressed air sounds. And so we'll put one of these in the timeline. And so I guess for this scene, like compressed air kind of sticks out, but I'll keep it in the timeline because when we mix it with the constellation and maybe turn the volume down and pan, uh, it'll just make the scene feel more like complex and maybe alive and I know that sounds kind of cheesy And so let's look up some whoosh sounds and maybe we'll stack a couple together here And we'll look for kind of like darker or more impactful or heavy sounds and just try to find a couple together that are a little gritty or something And it might sound a little weird again kind of just put in the timeline right now uh, But when we mix it with the constellation, it'll hopefully sound really cool. So let's give it a preview And so the really nice thing here is that for just basically searching up sounds that vaguely fit actions in the scene, we have a mix that already sounds pretty good, and that's because all the sounds in Boombox are all mastered to like be balanced and work together just at a base level. And that's been a ton of work, so um, shout out to Isaac Broxius, our composer, for that. Anyway, I didn't find a sound here, so we can use the info drawer to explore some other tags. And you can kind of like wander around the library through tags or different searches to find a sound that might fit the scene or be interesting. Or you can use the sounds for the tags so you can find other sounds in the library with matching tags for similar kind of like sonic identities and audio personas. And so at this point, we actually have a pretty solid amount of sound effects for this little clip and we could go and add another hundred sound effects but we may as well start mixing it just for this example and over on the constellation we have the time roll here at the bottom where we can actually step through the timeline from the sound effects so clicking the sound effects will jump to the frame that the sound effects were added to from their cue point and then you can mix it a bit more at the top so the volume range here is pretty giant for adjustment it was minus 32 so we'll turn this down to like minus 10 db and 1 db for a little better range we'll talk about the audio skin in a second so then we have the preferences autoplay and sound tooltip which i'll keep turned on and these are for the sound effect nodes in the constellation so with autoplay when you drag around the nodes you will get a preview of the panning that you'll have uh, left or right in your monitors or speakers and I'll jump to the next sound So what this allows you to do is just quickly go through your sound effects and mix them all Or if you want to get a little bit more advanced you can do the audio skin So just like onion skinning for animation that allows you to see like the next or previous frame Audio skin allows you to see the next or previous sound effect So with the constellation you can visualize the volume and panning like the degree left or right and then see what the next sound effect would have, uh, degree or volume, so you can match it and in many ways kind of like design audio, uh, much like you design animation with movement. And the constellation also has some cool things for like multi-selection and a bunch of other new time roll features we have coming. But once you get the hang of boombox and placing sounds, you can then step through all the sound effects really, really quick and just kind of like look at the constellation to understand the volume or panning of the sound effects and when you grab the sound effects the frame and the timeline will kind of snap to what the sound effect is trying to match to the whole thing is going to get much more cool with its own timeline and its own viewer all in constellation and some crazy crazy stuff uh, but for right now i think this is a pretty cool system so i'll just go mix this all real quick and you can match the sound effects again to like the movement in the scene whether that's something going left to right or up or down or you know just grab a loud sound and make it quiet whatever you want to do but yeah boombox has been like a multi-year project and a huge effort from all of us it would be sweet if you check it out or think it's interesting um at the very least it's a cool way for me to add sound effects to a 10 year old gif so i'll be back with another video thanks for checking it out as always peace